Adam. What'd you say? Hey, I didn't see you there. I just got back from a run. Oh, must have been kind of chilly. Oh, no, I was sweating like crazy out there. Well, the weather's changing. Yeah, it's getting cooler. Oh. You know what? It's too early to deal with this stuff. Um, speaking of phones, did you happen to check the house voicemail last night? No, should I have? What were you doing at the Motor Arms Motel? Wow. Unusual activity on my card is right. Thank God they called. How does a motel get my credit card information? Obviously, there's a lot I don't know about identity theft. So you weren't having an affair? Of course not. Hey. You are the only woman in the world for me. Seriously, you didn't really think that... No. Good. Good. Because I would never do that to you. No, thank you. Done. The credit card is canceled. Mm -hmm. Were there any other fraudulent charges? No. Well, that's strange. Someone went to the trouble of getting the card number, and then all they did was charge some old motel room. Guess I stopped it just in time. Hey, I didn't expect to see you for a couple of hours. Oh, I don't want to waste the day off in bed. Mom, uh, some friends are getting together at Crimson Lights. Can I go? Uh, did you finish your homework? Last night. All of it. Okay, I'll take you when I uh, go to Newman. I'll drop you off. Great. See you, Jack. I, I'm going to stop at the Mexican joint. The one we like later, and we'll get you those tamales for dinner. Cool. Um, bye, honey. Bye, baby. Jack? You called? Yeah, I have something for you. The diary? No, uh, I'll tell you when you get here, but you got to make it fast because we're in kind of a hurry. Why? They spotted Victor in South America. They're on his trail. Hey, hey Jack. Thanks for getting here so fast. I just spoke to our publisher, Robert. He's ready to set a date to publish the diary. Really? Well, I got more for him. Uh, why don't you take a look at my laptop? Your laptop? I thought you were going to show me stuff from the forger. Uh, no, the, the diary will be ready soon, but this is my article for the magazine. What, your expose? The son's perspective on the sick and twisted father? That's the one. I thought we had such success building the diary, you, th you decided against that. No, 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 no. I've, I've been working on this all night. I, I think it's going to lend a lot of credibility to the diary. Okay. Let's hear what you got. <clears throat> really? Yes. All right. My beloved mother's dying wish for me was to have a relationship with the father I never knew, Victor Newman. My first instinct was to run in the other direction. But then I decided to honor my mother's plea. I went to Genoa City to become acquainted with my father and the family I'd never met. Okay. Great start. Hold on, it gets better. Victor embraced me fully, and I grew to respect, even love the man. But it wasn't long before I saw him with new eyes. An egomaniacal, unforgiving man whose vengeance knows no bounds. Now we're talking. <laughs> you didn't have to walk me inside. Well, I was just getting a coffee to go. Now I have it. So I'll leave. Go on. Go on. I came to see that Victoria and Nicholas are indulged children whose lack of talent is dwarfed only by their misguided sense of entitlement. Wow. I couldn't have said that any better myself. <laughs> but what cut to the quick was how, when I reached out to them as a family, they coldly rejected me. The only kindness they ever showed me, if you can even call it that, was warning me about my father. 
They said that he wasn't what he appeared to be. And over time, they proved to be right. I saw a Victor Newman who was beyond cruel. But did that make him capable of murder? Actually, yeah, I think so. Huh? That's it? I mean, I gotta make some changes, you know. I think it it's fabulous. It's passionate, it's gripping, it's personal. I only have one word of advice. What's that? Don't hold back. Hey. Well, hey there, Miss Beauty of Nature. I, uh, am glad to be back. And I just got my potential travel schedule. Yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to change on that. Okay. You know, I, I was thinking about bringing Jack along for some of it. Mixing in some business with pleasure, I see. Well, hoping to. Or is it that you just want to get him on a short leash? Well, you know what they say. Every marriage can benefit from some R&R. &R. True, true. So he's, he's okay with, uh, you know, your job? So far, yeah. I mean, he even got me a welcome back present. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Guess we should have gotten you a bigger basket of fruit. <laughs> right. Well, hey, it's the thought that counts. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad he's okay with this, you know. Well, I think he will be once I take him to Santorini and San Tropez and some of the other amazing places that you're sending me. Yeah. Speaking of which, we need to get together and coordinate our schedules where Noah's concerned. I'm going to be taking some business trips myself. Okay, no problem. You know, the last couple of times I was with Noah, he seemed, seemed pretty good. Has he been that way with you? Yeah. I mean, he seemed normal, except for the usual teenage stuff. He's doing his homework. No more dancing on tables at drunken parties. Glad mm -hmm. to hear that. <laughs> right? I think that we got through to him. You know, that behavior like that isn't going to be tolerated. Surprise. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I was kind of a jerk earlier, saying you shouldn't come into Crimson Lights with me. Mothers are supposed to stay at least 100 yards away in public. I forget sometimes. No, it's, it's just that there's... Well, you know, say no more. I was a teenager once, I remember. That far back? You watch it. What's in the bag? Uh, stuff for some. My face. Okay. Why are you trying to butter me up? No reason. Oh, uh, there is one thing. Did you and Dad talk about that school trip to France? No. You said you didn't want to go. Now I do. Really? That's, that's good. So, we, I will talk to him about it. Great. Thanks. So, I'm, I'm just curious what brought about this change. I mean, you've never really liked French class. Oh, uh, I don't know. Paris just sounds kind of cool. Perfect. We'll be in touch. Okay, Robert said he will not only publish the diary, but your article in the next issue. Fantastic. The one catch is they will need all of the material by the end of the week. Uh, all right, no problem. I'll call Frank and let him know. No delays. Okay, and your article? I can probably wrap that up by tomorrow, next couple of days. Just put a little finishing touches on it, you know? Done. Oh, uh, by the way, you did a hell of a job there. Thanks, Jack. I can't wait for the rest of the world to read it. What a schmuck.